Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry I've been away for a minute, but I figured I'd come back and do one of my favorite types of quizzes, British quizzes. As a huge Anglophile, I figure let's jump in here with the London A to Z. Pretty straightforward. One answer for every letter of the alphabet. Looks like we don't have an answer for X. Fair enough. The Premier League team, that would be Arsenal, that's my team. B, the ceremonial guard of the Tower of London. I do believe that's a beef eater. C, the accent with rhyming slang. That would be Cockney rhyming slang. D, the Prime Minister Street. That's Downing. E, the giant Ferris wheel, the London Eye. I had the great pleasure of riding that. One of the best experiences I had on my trip. F, pink newspaper. I'm not certain. G, London's second busiest airport. That would be Gatwick. I've flown in and out of there a few times. H, upscale department store. That's Harrods. I, Angel Tube Station locale. Is that Islington? J, the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. K, the Royal Palace, that should be Kensington. L, Insurance Market, that would be Lloyd's of London. M, Ken Livingstone or Boris Johnson. I have no idea. We'll go back to that one as well. N, place to see a carnival. It would be Notting Hill. Cricket Arena, that would be the Oval. P, London's most famous circus, that would be Piccadilly. Freddie Mercury's band was Queen. Bird to find at the Tower of London, that would be the Raven. The tallest building in London is the Shard. The major river would be the Thames. The Tube is the London um, Underground. V, second busiest train station. V. I'm going to think on that one too. Abbey, where monarchs are bur buried. That would be Westminster. Y, the police headquarter location. That's Scotland Yard. And Z, the type of crossing to find on Abbey Road would be a crosswalk. But I'm pretty sure British people call it a zebra crossing. And we're missing three here. The one that's got me stuck is Ken Livingston or Boris Johnson. Oh, were they the mayors of London? They were. I knew Boris was. I don't know the newspaper, unfortunately. But the second busiest train station. V. Is it like Victory Station? No. No. V. Victoria, duh. Victoria. And then I just unfortunately do not know any newspapers. I know the Sun. Financial Times. Fair enough. Well, let me find another quiz about London here and I'll be right back. So this isn't necessarily about London or about the UK, but it's interesting nonetheless. It's cities that beat London. So this is how many, or what place London is. So London's the 13th most populous national capital. And we're just going to see if we can name ones that beat it. There's 18 here. I'd like to get at least 15 right. So the most popular capital, I'm going to just go Moscow. Largest stadium, probably also Moscow. No. Okay, what about huge stadiums? I think Mexico City has a big one. No, Berlin, Paris. The issue is I don't know a lot about sports outside of the U.S. Maybe Delhi, Sydney, perhaps. Surely it's not like Washington, D.C. I don't even think they have a stadium. What am I thinking here? I'm thinking we're going to come back to that. The national capital closest to French territory, excluding Paris. 
we can just do Brussels. European national capital with the lowest elevation. I'm thinking Amsterdam. Most populous city in the Commonwealth of Nations. Is this cities or capitals? Oh, this is cities that beat London. I thought it was capitals. Okay, well, let me go back here. So, a largest stadium. Um, we can do, I think Atlanta has a stadium that would be pretty big. Or Dubai. Uh, Doha. Okay, so I was wrong on all accounts here. What about, like, Barcelona? There we go. Most populous city in the Commonwealth of Nations. We can do uh, Toronto. Not quite big enough. What about Sydney? Also not quite big enough. Is Joburg? Johannesburg? No. We'll go back to that one. City with the busiest airport. We'll go Tokyo. Most Michelin star restaurants. Paris. Most metro rail stations. We'll do New York. Most hotels, probably also New York or Tokyo, Paris. First city to host the Olympics, that would be Athens. Most embassies, I'm going to go Washington, D.C. here. Tallest skyscraper in Europe, probably Berlin. No, Moscow. Most international tourists, that's Paris. What? New York? I would have bet money that Paris would have been number one. Most populous urban area starting with an L. L. Luxor. Lusaka. Luanda. Most populous city above 50 north. I'm thinking St. Petersburg. Or Moscow. Just Moscow. Most populous city in the year 1950. We'll go New York. Most populous city in 1800. I'm thinking Rome or Paris. Athens. Moscow, potentially. What other big cities are there? That could be like Birmingham or Manchester. And then the closest national capital to Scotland. Let's do Oslo. No. Is it Dublin. Okay, so the most populous city in the Commonwealth of Nations. I think the Commonwealth is all British, so... More populous than London, and has ties to the crown. Jakarta? No, I don't know. I failed here. That's too bad. Uh, India and Bangladesh, that's what I was missing. And Nigeria. Fair enough. Hong Kong and Bangkok. Most international tourists. Fair enough. Lagos and Los Angeles and Beijing. Wow, that's crazy that Beijing was that big in the year 1800. But I feel pretty good about that. We're going to take one more quiz here and then call it a day. Here we're going to end off with British History A to Z. I've been a fan of these A to Z quizzes. I'm probably going to do a little bit worse, so... I'm hoping for... Out of 26, I'm hoping for 20. One of these hit Harold Godwinson in the eye at the Battle of Hastings. That would be an arrow. Hitler only had one of these, according to a World War II era song. Is it a bomb or a bunker? No. Oh, a ball? Yeah. Man who was proclaimed Roman Emperor by the legions of York. Is it like Cornwall? I have no idea. Caesar. Prime Minister from 1874 to 1880 who thoroughly charmed Queen Victoria. D. No idea. E, English Trading Company, which ended up seizing control of vast areas of Asia. That's the East India Company. F, the most well-known member of the Gunpowder Plotters. That's Guy Fawkes. G, site of a disastrous campaign against the Ottomans in World War I. 
Hmm. Is it Galipoli? I'm sure I'm spelling that so wrong. It is, and I spelled it right. I should get two points for that. Long series of conflicts with the French. That's the Hundred Years' War. One of Queen Victoria's titles, the Empress of India. The Lewis Carroll poem, Twas Brillig and the Slithy Loves. Oh, that's the Jabber Walkie. Uh, I thought that was English for a second and attempted to read that. My apologies. K, country where the Mau Mau uprising occurred. Would it be Kenya? L, the remains of Richard III were found in a car park in this city in the Midlands. I'm thinking Leeds or Leicester. There we go. Proprietors of a flying circus. He's not the Messiah. He's a very naughty boy. Is it Monty Python? Python? Hmm. Am I spelling Monty wrong? Is it M-O-N-T-Y? I'm running out of time here. There we go. The world's most famous alchemist. That would be Nicholas Flamel. That's Harry Potter's. Newton, Newton. This is a real life person, my bad. Oh, we are running out of time. Invaded England during the Glorious Rebellion. William of, is it Orange? Unconquerable bunch north of Hadrian's Wall. Is that the Picts? I have no idea where I pulled that from. A British Marquess, Marquis, whom the rules of boxing were named. That would be uh, Queensbury. Explorer and tobacco cheerleader, favorite of Elizabeth the One. That should be Raleigh. Beautiful waterfowl, that's a swan. Brilliant mathematician, uh, that would be Turing. An 11 centimeter high vessel which contains the ashes of English cricket. No idea. I guessed urn. HMS V. No idea. This general did such a good job fighting Napoleon, they made him a duke. Is that Waterloo? No, that's the location. The. Coleridge Proem in Xanadu. Mortal enemies of the House of Lancaster. That's the House of York. And we're ending with country, which was formerly Southern Rhodesia. It's either Zambia or Zimbabwe. And what did I miss? We're going to have to go back over this. That time limit was way too short. It was Constantine, Benjamin, Disraeli. I should have known that. Victory and the Duke of Wellington. I apologize that I kind of rushed through that. I don't really like that. And in the future, I will pick quizzes with longer time limits or go without a time limit. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I've been having some struggles recently thinking of good videos to do. So if you guys have any suggestions, leave them below. I don't want to get too repetitive just guessing the same cities over and over on maps. So thank you guys for taking the time to watch. Let me know what you think and keep coming back for more.